Hi, my name is Nick Asborn, aka The Coffee Detective, and today we're going to have a look at the Philips Seiko Cintia Fully Automatic uh, Cappuccino Machine, Espresso and Cappuccino Machine. Uh, this is a very handsome unit, brushed steel, um, and it really is, as we'll see, fully automatic. Uh, they call it a kind of bean to cut process and basically everything takes place within the body of the machine itself. Now if you've looked at previous Cynthia models you might be looking at this and saying well hang on where's the uh, where's the steaming wand? You know how am I going to froth my milk for my cappuccino? Well good question and uh, like I say everything in fact is is inside um, and we'll, we'll get to that in a moment how, how it works with the milk and steaming the milk. Uh, one of the first things that I like about this is up here I put in my whole coffee beans. So I can choose whatever type of coffee I want for my espresso and cappuccino. I can put them in the top there and I'm going to grind them. It has a ceramic burr grinder inside and I can grind them just moments, you know, seconds before my, my espresso or cappuccino is made. So totally fresh. If you want to use pre-ground coffee you can. There's a little chute here that bypasses the grinder. Uh, but for me, that's a great feature. Now, uh, let me see, we'll go through a couple of other things. First of all, we've got, we've got the water in here. And then you can see the red warning light telling me that the water door is open. and It's now closed. Uh, there's an option there. You can add a water filter in there if you wish, if you need to. Um, on this side, we actually have the... This is where the, the, the little pots of uh, used beans, uh, ground beans are going to drop down. It's kind of self, part of the self-cleaning process afterwards because, you know, like with, with an automatic machine, it's not like we have to fill a, a porta filter and apply pressure manually and, and kind of attach it. Like everything is automatic there. The grinding, uh, the pressure applied to the coffee grinds, the, the uh, temperature of the water, the pressure that the water creates. Um, it's all automatic. So, now if I want to make myself a cappuccino, how am I going to do this? Because I don't appear to have anything to, to do the frothing of the, you know, the milk frothing or the steaming. So, here it is, what they call their milk cafe. And I'm just going to plug that in to the side here. Make sure it's fully attached at the bottom. Um, I've, I've st I started this before I started the video. It takes uh, maybe two minutes to warm up to get ready. But I'm going to put my cup in there and I've got my water in here, I've got my coffee beans waiting to be ground, I've got my milk here waiting to be steamed and if I want a cappuccino all I have to do is that. So what we're listening to now is, is the beans being ground and also the temperature here is, is showing me the temperature rising for uh, the steaming. Um, so we have to, we have to wait a, a minute here while that happens. Okay, now we're going to get the, the we're going to get the, uh, yeah, you can, hear the, you can hear the pump in there working away building the pressure. So the milk is being drawn out of the cafe here into here and it is being steamed and then directed straight down into the cup. Now you can, uh, there are adjustments here, you can go into the settings, you can adjust things like um, you know, how strong you want your coffee, you can, you, your, your espresso, you can adjust the temperature of the water, um, so it, it's, it's fully adjustable so that over time you can figure it out and uh, oh yeah, here comes the espresso, and we're done. So there we go, one, one cappuccino ready to go. Now, the nice thing about this is that if I'm here with a friend or family, 
I can just grab another mug, put it in, and I just press that button again. And it goes on and on and on, making me cappuccinos until either the water runs out, the beans run out, or the milk runs out. So it, it is fully automated in that regard. Um, you know, it's a, if, 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 you, if you drink a lot of cappuccino, it's wonderful because it is totally automated. Uh, you don't have to worry about that steaming one. That, that's the, I guess when I'm making, if I'm not using an automatic machine and I have the steam one there, uh, sometimes I make a mess. Uh, but the part I don't look forward to is when I actually have to clean everything afterwards. So I'm going to have to clean the portafilter. Uh, but particularly with a regular manual espresso machine, I'm going to have to, to really work hard to kind of clean up the, the, the wand because, the, as you know, the milk kind of gets all gummy and sticky and, and, and attaches to it. So I'm done making my cappuccino. This now I take off and I put that in the fridge for next time. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, hang on, if, you know, I'm not having to clean the steaming wand, but yeah, milk's been going through there. So, so what have I got to do to clean stuff now? Well, really not much because what you do, if you, you know, when, when I decide to turn this off, if I'm going to make two or three cappuccinos in a go, it just keeps on going. But when I press that, the off button, it's actually going to go through a clean cycle. It's going to clean everything uh, by way, you know, where the coffee's coming through, those back, two back spots. So it's just going to flush those out and now it's going to flush out the front as well where the milk comes through. So I mean it really is pretty much self-cleaning. And it, it goes through a, a shorter but similar cycle when I, when I first turn it on. Uh, so I just throw that away and in here, if I can do this without making a terrible mess, I have the little no, I can't do it. It's falling apart and I'm making a mess. But basically, the, the, the pucks of coffee after the, after, after the cycle is finished get deposited in here. Um, and then after a while, you know, once that's filled up a little bit, I can just put that into the compost or, or throw it away. So it's an amazing machine. Um, what I actually do quite often is when I've made my cappuccino, uh, I'm a bit greedy for caffeine and the, the, the coffee taste. So I sometimes just put it there and I'll just press the, uh, the short coffee button here and I'll get another shot of espresso in there. So it just, it, do, it, it doesn't do any more milk, it just grinds some more beans and gives me a second shot of espresso in my cappuccino. So, do you want this machine? Well, you know, it's not inexpensive. It, it's uh, certainly, certainly you can buy machines that make cappuccino for a lot less. Um, it's not really small, it, it, the front profile is quite good. It's like a, a, about 10 inches, but it's a little bit deeper. Um, so you do need a bit of counter space. So, you know, really the decision, you know, if you've got the counter space and you've got the money, um, you know, this is a perfect machine. If you like, you know, if you entertain or if you have lots of members in the family who, who like a cappuccino and you just really appreciate being able to just keep pressing that button and not go through all the kind of cleaning and adjusting process that's necessary with a, with a more, you know, with a manual espresso machine. So, like I say, if you've got the counter space, if you've got the money, it's a, it's a wonderful, easy way to make espresso and cappuccino.